Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insolvent Scott Selections here for Sunday, June 4th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Twins and Guardians game. First five under, four and a half runs at minus 138 on FanDuel. Line closed at three and a half actually on FanDuel, but did not matter as the first five ended two to one. So nice winner. No matter what number you got, you ended up winning. I'll look for another winner here on Sunday. And for today's play that day, going back to baseball, to look at a matchup between the Brewers and the Reds taking place at around 1.40 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, going to take the Reds team total over four and a half runs at minus 130 on DraftKings. Time recording of 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why we're going to take the team total over here for Cincinnati. First reason, the Reds have actually been very good offensively over the last couple of weeks. Cincinnati has scored at least five runs in nine of its last 12 games. And Cincinnati's been very good offensively at home this season as the Reds are averaging 4.69 runs per home game, which ranks tied for 11th in the league. Meanwhile, you have Hauser pitching for Milwaukee, who was really good to start the year. However, he did get destroyed in his last outing against Toronto. Last start, four and a third, 11 hits allowed, seven runs allowed, six of them being earned. Hauser in his career has roughly a four ERA, so it did, it did seem like he was kind of overachieving in his first couple outings. And now, since he fell back down to earth, I am a bit concerned that he will be unable to get back on track in this uh, situation, especially since Hauser has been really bad, historically speaking, in Great American Ballpark. To go through the numbers here, Hauser has had a career total of 36 and two-thirds innings pitched with a 6.14 ERA in Great American. So year in, year out, he gets shelled in this ballpark, and after getting destroyed his last outing, I do think Cincinnati should jump on him early and often in this game. Plus, the weather should result in a lot of runs. According to Ballpark Pal, the weather should result in a 16% increase in runs and a 21% increase in home runs. So I do think that Hauser, once again, is in line to struggle for a variety of reasons. Plus, the Brewers are a little bit shorthanded bullpen-wise since they have used a lot of their arms in the first two games of this series. Uh, they used four relievers yesterday. They used five the day before because they went to extra innings. So I am a bit concerned about who the Brewers have left available in the bullpen. Devin Williams, their star closer, did pitch in each of the first two games in the series. So I do think he will be unavailable for this game, which is important because his ERA is below 0.5. So I do think that with Williams probably being unavailable, there is a chance that Milwaukee's bullpen struggles and maybe Cincinnati is able to score a couple of runs in the last couple innings to get us over. But either way, the point is with Cincinnati's great offense lately and with Hauser's historical numbers against uh, Cincinnati in Great American and the weather, I do think that this team total is too low. And I think Cincinnati should probably go over this number with relative ease. Play that once again here for Sunday, June 4th is going to be on the Reds team total over four and a half runs of minus 130 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.